Hello, I'm Robert and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do a low poly tower. This is very simple for pretty much for beginners and I actually have another tutorial explaining how to do a low poly tutorial but I feel like it could be way better and also someone I think his name was Peter actually told me he was having a bit of a hard time because I didn't say what hotkeys I was using so I decided to record a new video explaining how to do this and this time I'm enabling screencast keys which will say pretty much what keys I'm using so for example if I delete this scene by pressing A as you can see I pressed A over there and pressing X you see it uh, shows up pretty much what I'm using so I want to start this time not by making a sphere but by making a plane because I want to make a different design uh, so I'm going to scale this up with the S key and if I go into edit mode I can extrude this face so I want to have like pretty much a base and I want to extrude this again and scale this down I want to make an inset face and I want to extrude this again so pretty much now we have the body of our tower but we actually have to do the top so I'm going to extrude once more I'm going to scale and I'm going to extrude again actually just a little bit okay and now what I want to do is subdivide this um, let me see maybe seven times yeah you want to subdivide this seven times and now what we're going to do is select um, these faces and I'm doing this by pr uh, pressing shift and at the same time alt alt so I can select these this edge these this kind of ring you could say and shift at the same time so if I so these don't get deselected so now I'm going to extrude and I'm going to select these faces over here which are going to be I don't know the name of, of them I think I had the same problem in the previous video as well I don't know how you call these but you pretty much know what they are just by seeing them so um, actually we're going to try to reduce the poly count which is the number of faces by selecting all these faces and let's see if we can dissolve the faces yeah that worked pretty well and you can do the same with this maybe okay maybe not maybe if we select these yeah you have to just select um the faces of this face not like the whole ring so just press x and dissolve faces and actually if you click on one of what this one and at the same time you press this one using control you can select all these faces so keep doing that and you can do this along pretty much all this although I'm not going to do it because it might take a little too much and now I want to make a loop cut around here maybe actually no I want to make another object this time it's going to be a cube once you move it up, you can see the center is pretty much in the middle and I want to actually go into edit mode because we want the center to stay there. And this is because we want a mirror modifier. And these are pretty much going to be... Um, where's the mirror mo Oh, there, there it is. And this is pretty much going to be a kind of like window. And... Why is it not appearing? Well, I guess we could just duplicate and rotate, rotate it on the Z axis 90 degrees. So I'm going to scale this on the Z just a little bit. And I want to grab these edges and I want to use the bevel tool. Okay. One second. Ah. Okay, there we go. 
and we want to build it just like this and you can use the wheels to select how many edges you want to add I just want two and now I want to select this and set face and set again and this time we want to move this N in a little bit and maybe scroll this down and now I want to shift D to duplicate and rotate on the Z axis 90 degrees okay perfect and now I want to add some more decoration this time I want to actually well again let's make a cube and we want to actually just leave it in the center and use the snap tool which is this magnet looking thing to move this in the exact location Having a bit of trouble placing this and this looks over here like it's fine like it's even so I'm, what I'm going to do now is make another mirror modifier and just make sure the center is here so the mirror modifier works and there you go and I want to go into edit mode I'm actually going to make some loop cuts one over here and one over here and also here just make sure it's kind of even doesn't have to be perfect though because it is just really a pile of rocks and you want to extrude this a little bit and now we want to add an array and basically what this is it pretty much like duplicates the faces a number of times but we want this to go up on the Z and it might have been way too much actually what I'm going to do is scale this on the Z a little bit and it seems to work pretty well so that's all for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll respond to you as fast as possible. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.